Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. When we left off, we had created our tree farm, which has been making trees for us ever so diligently. And I went ahead and made an automated system that pulls the items out of said farm and places them into a drawer controller, which then is going to place into all of these drawers. Now. That gave me an idea, because since this is essentially going to run forever, so long as I can power it, and it's going to place into drawers like so, I mean, I have, our, I have already 422 spruce wood and 26 birch wood. I can have up to 32 stacks in here. Now, I could use this entire area as a giant storage facility. But I wanted to beautify it first. So this is essentially going to be the uh, the Martha Stewart episode of Minecraft. Now, I went ahead and asked a couple of my good friends, my best supporters, my biggest supporters, their favorite colors. And this is what I came up with. So we have one friend whose favorite color is red. Another friend whose favorite color is purple. And last but certainly not least, light blue. No, cyan. There, kind of a greenish blue. Now, I won't say your guys' names on here, just to protect your guys' identity. If you want to come out and say what your favorite color is, by all means, let me know. I'll be posting the comments and uh, I might do a build with your favorite color. But uh, what I wanted to do was have brightly colored pillars in each corner. In no particular order whatsoever. Nice brightly colored pillars. Just for a bit of texture. And maybe border these with color as well. So let's just run this here. This is going to be the purple row. Ah, uh, yes. Feels so much more colorful in here already. I found it only fits to use the quarried stone that I had dug out of this area. Kind of refined it a little. It takes cooking it and then throwing it into the chisel to make fitted quarried stone, which gives it this blocky texture to the bricks texture. I like that. It's very similar to the marble, but I don't have a lot of marble. I have a ton of this stuff. So we'll just get that done. Red. Red's turn. Now, if I'm using one of your guys' favorite colors, also let me know in the comments. Tell me what color it is. And... Again, last but certainly not least, I have one more spot here. If another friend wants to tell me their favorite color, please do. Because I'm going to use it to fill this spot and the rest of this row. But for now, I can work around that. Again with the quarried stone, I really wanted to use the quarried block as a kind of a footpath. So if I dig around this area with my Glorious mining hammer. This thing is just so beast. So beastly. Alright, so I wanted to use these quarried bricks as kind of a footpath around here. Give it a one space gap between the floor, the, the wall and the drawers. And, uh, Hopefully by the end of this episode, I'll have enough wood to finish off all the drawers I'm going to need for this. Eventually, I'm going to want to set up an actual build craft quarry. I, I know some of you aren't familiar as to what that exactly is, but... You'll see that in a future episode. So now... What else can I do with these? I don't know if I want to use that. Yeah, no, I don't think I want to use those. 
I might use granite for a bit. Let's see. I'll use prismatic granite, small tiles. Yes. So I'll give it that nice color. And again, I can switch over to the purples. Fill this in. I don't really have any specific plan for this. I just kind of want to see where it goes, you know? That's This is why we call it the Martha Stewart. Maybe I'll do some stencils. Put some vines up here. Yeah, well, we could actually do stencils if we wanted to. Um, let's see. Red on this side. The greenish blue cyan. I don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly. Cyan? Cayenne? No, that's a pepper. Okay. And last, but actually, let's, let's just love some diorite. See what this is going to do for us. Let's do prismatic. It's a good texture. Let's see if I like that. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about it, actually. It's this giant room in the middle of nowhere. Ooh, yes, this is the mystery color. Let's clear that out. Now, what I'm going to do is put windows in this area, eventually. I'm smelting glass at the moment while I'm talking. So I wanted to see this general area. Ah, here we go. I've decided on the cobblestone with panel. This is going to give us that kind of texture we want because it forms a, a frame, a border around what I'm doing here. I think in the middle here I want a brighter color. Let's see. Not quite. No, no. Let's see. What does this do? This is a bit of discovery for me as well. I don't really like that. Uh, yes. Oh, I'm starving to death. Okay. So I've got this cobblestone with redstone interior. And it kind of looks like, uh, something I've seen before. Hang on. Upgrade. It's an upgrade. It looks like this. The energy storage upgrade. That's exactly what it looks like. It's got the gray border with the red interior. That is exactly what that looks like. That's funny. I never intended for that, but it worked out. Okay, so I'll get the glass for this window. And hey, while I'm here, I might as well might as well just scoop this out too. It's my trusty dirt scoop. Probably probably the best tool I've created thus far. Yes. Mine it all out. Get rid of it. Oh, another thing I wanted to do was kind of make this a nicer path as well. I'm going to do that with uh, quarried stone. Or quarried brick, rather. I'm going to lay out quarried brick on either side of this path. And I might use the smeltery brick that I used. I used to make the smelteries to put in the middle. Let's see. I, I wonder if I actually have any. Yeah, I do. I do have seared bricks. Go back down here. And place these right in the middle. Yeah, okay. That gives it a nice uh, underground path feel. Got a zigzag. And bring it back. Hey, I kind of like that. I dig it.
Alrighty then, we are back, and we have finished the project. Are you excited? I'm excited. Take a look at this. Boom. I like the look of this hallway. It's got the, uh, the nice finish with the drawers and the window in it. You can look through the window into the storage room. I've made that side over there. That's going to be our uh, stones. Stones, gravel, maybe consider putting sand in there. All of that is going to be from our tree farm, that side there. And then I might end up putting the miscellaneous gemstones, like, uh, like amber, rubies, sapphires, emeralds, stuff like that. That's all going to go in here. And then I need a place to... Uh, I, I need to think of something that's going to go in this spot. But that'll come later on. This is the completed room. I've decided to kind of border. It zigzags with the color on the bottom, up, and then on the top. It does that with every side. Except for this side, which is the mysterious color. Uh, if someone wants to post in the comments a uh, color that you want put there, I will put it there. And I'll put it here as well. And on the roof in this spot here. I'll do that just for you. But that's all the time I have for this episode. It's been a long one. I hope you guys don't mind the, uh, the longer montage of me putting all of this together. I think it looks pretty nice. If you guys have any comments on how I can improve the look of it. Ooh, I missed some birch wood there. Oops. <laughs> if you have any comments on how I can improve the look of the place, well, please, let me know. If you like this episode, please feel free to give it a like. Every little bit helps. If you have any comments on how I can improve my content, maybe things you guys would like to see, or recommendations for color usage, because black and white and gray are just boring, I like to use colors, let me know. I like to hear what you guys have to say. Anyways, my name was Mortar Durantoten, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye for now. <laughs>